Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Let's see what's unfolding for the remaining of the month of April 2021 in regards to love and romance. How are you doing Pisces? I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're not, I hope it gets better, my lovelies. We gotta be positive. All right, let's get into it. Now, your first card here is the Five of Cups. This is the energy that is representing you. For some of you guys, there is a bit of feeling overly emotional. For some, it could be... Um, I feel for some of you guys, there is a feeling of unhappiness or a feeling of like being unfulfilled. Let's see why. The card that is representing your partner is the star card. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be fantasizing, missing, or thinking of a person from your past. Um, the star card is illumination. This is like being able to... I feel like you guys have lost your way in this situation. The five of cups is the mourning or the loss of some type of connection, some type of relationship with the star card, you missing or looking at the past as it was the best that ever happened or the best thing that ever happened to you. Somehow uh, it was a missed opportunity. Uh, you may be dealing with an Aquarius energy as well, but I feel that the partner or person that you're dealing with, with the star card, I feel like they're hopeful or they're waiting for some type of communication. Now, the card that is representing the relationship with this itself is the Hermit card. So yeah, I feel that there's distancing here. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been like the end of a relationship. There could have been a breakup, some type of separation. But I definitely see the person... Um, of your interest or your partner really longing for you, wishing for you, praying for you, hoping to hear from you. Um, it's like they're not letting go of hope. I see you as very, I keep hearing unfulfilled. And you're looking at spilled wine over here. So it's like, you're looking at the past, but you have the present upright. For some of you guys, it could be that you are in a relationship where you feel unfulfilled because you're comparing that connection to someone from your past. And you're refusing to make some type of move or some type of change. interesting now the card that it uh, represents the advice here is the three of wands so there's definitely distancing there's a person that's missing you Pisces there's a person that's hoping to hear from you um, with the three of wands it's like you're not making a move because you're waiting for them to come forth or to try to reach out to you but I feel you're stuck in a situation this could be stuck in a relationship this could be stuck dealing with someone that you don't really love while missing the person you love. Um, for others of you, it could just represent, especially those of you guys that are single, you feel very unfulfilled. You feel lonely at times. You're trying to manifest some type of relationship, but you keep embracing or focusing on the solitude or the loneliness you feel. You're not going to attract shit like that, Pisces. I'll be honest with you. It's like whenever clients tell me I am focused and I am determined uh, to find love, et cetera, et cetera. And then I tell them, so what are you doing to be able to embrace or make, you know, get it pushing? What is it that you're doing to get some type of momentum? And they tell me, well, you know, you know, I just look at my friends and I see them so happy and I see them like so fulfilled and it just makes me sad and da 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 and I'm telling them, how the hell do you expect to bring a person towards you when you're focusing on the loneliness or when you're focusing on the lack of relationship? You're only, you're only manifesting situations that keep making you feel like you're lonely. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? 
So what they're telling you here is for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, stop dwelling or making yourself purposely sad. Like whenever you feel sad, stop playing music that makes you more sad. If you're sad, then you watch movies that are fucking sad and make you cry. Like stop doing that. Um, embracing love is or opening the door to love is learning to love yourself, learning to pour all that love in yourself. All this love that you have to give and that you want to offer someone, offer it to yourself. Because when you start to love yourself, when you start to focus on yourself, when you start to motivate yourself going towards your goals and aspirations or your passions, creativity, all of this energy starts to flow organically and then people start to be drawn to you like magnets. But I feel that for some of you guys, it's you longing for someone where there was a separation. And you could have put yourself in a situation where you jump quickly into another relationship. Now you feel unfulfilled in that relationship and you're hoping and wanting to hear from them. And the person from your past is over here hoping and wanting to hear from you, but no one's taking action. It's like you guys are waiting on each other to make a move. Yep. The moon card. Pisces, it's tough. It's time for you to stop being delusional. And I tell you this with love. <laughs> with love. Um, delusional in the sense of if you happen to be in a relationship and you're unhappy, what is it that you're doing to get yourself out of that situation? No one's forcing you. And don't come at me telling me, Oh, well, I have kids. That's the baby mama or the baby daddy. Like, that doesn't matter. If your kids don't see you happy, you're teaching them that it's okay to settle. You're teaching them that it's okay to be in an unloving relationship. You're not doing anyone any favors. You need to be honest with yourself. If this is you missing a person from the past and you're not reaching out because you're waiting for them to reach out, both of you guys are sitting there missing an opportunity because your ego is involved. The moon card is refusing to see things for what they really are. This is remaining stuck, remaining confused because you're choosing to be confused, because you're choosing to be unfulfilled, because you're choosing to not make changes in your life. For some of you guys, it could be that you're in a very unhappy relationship and you're the one that's hopeful and praying that things are going to change, but you can't change people's behaviors. Stop hoping for change. If you've been sitting there dealing with the same person's bullshit for the past two, three years, four years, five years, even a year, and they're not putting effort, guess what? They're not going to put effort. And you can't go above and beyond treating them better to show them because if they don't already appreciate you, they're not going to appreciate the more you do for them. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. And your oracle card here is take the leap. Have faith and trust in yourself. This is like momentum. There's lack of momentum here. There's lack of movement. You're refusing to make changes. It's like you're keeping yourself sad on purpose. Taking the leap is knowing and acknowledging that it is up to you. No one's going to come and save you, Pisces. No one's going to come and make your life better. You have to make that for yourself. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to make decisions we don't want to make, but they're necessary in order to create some type of change. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, we'll see each other. Bye.